Hello everyone, it's your host Vaibhav and from today's session we are going to change the topic from visual J4X to J4X indicators. So this session onwards I will be explaining to you various indicators which are available on the J4X platform and this is going to be an interactive session so if you feel like at any point in time that you need more explanation or you have any, any particular query you can write to me in the comment section and I would uh, pretty much try to the best of my knowledge to explain the things. Okay, so in this session, we will be considering the account statistics. And for that, we have to consider, uh, I think the net is a bit slower on my end. So it's taking time. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> Okay, here we got the add indicator option. So in this session, we are considering account statistics. We have two indicators provided to us to consider the account statistic and from account statistic, you can guess from the name itself, the exposure and the profit loss. We have these two options provided to us. So whenever you want to look at the net exposure for any particular instrument suppose if you have multiple positions open and you want to take a quick look of the net exposure then you can consider this option and uh, for the pnl for profit and loss you just have to add this to the chart and uh, i have already added it so i am not uh, going to re-add it i will zoom in we need to increase the zoom so that will be much clearer all right so here this is the euro use the chart plotted on the hour time frame on the bottom side we have this net exposure for the euro and uh, the profit and loss this is a cumulative statement so if we had incurred profit or losses earlier then that will show up and whatever is the today's profit and loss that will be adjusted and as there is no trade here recently, so no changes have happened in these prior accumulated PLs. And on the net exposure side, as I don't have any current trade open, there is uh, this exposure of zero. Let us open a trade and I will uh, then show you how this uh, changes. So we go for a trade here of say 0.1 million dollars all right so i have taken a trade all right we got the trade opened it's a buy trade and immediately you can see the changes here in this uh, net exposure option. Now the reading has changed from zero to one lakh, that is uh, 0 0.1 million dollars, 100,000 euro is our net exposure on the long side. And uh, profit and loss, we have to wait for some time. If the euro moves in our direction, that is on the higher side, then we will see these uh, chart the graph on the rise and if the euro moves on the lower side if it goes into decline then we will see these uh, graph moving downwards so it will be adjusted in real time basis in real time depending on what is the reading is what is the outcome of the current trade is so that's how these uh, two indicators the account statistic related indicators are going to work and these are pretty simple to use. You can change the instrument. Let us take another example. Let us go for the AUD JPY. So this is the AUD JPY instrument plotted on the hourly candle period. And loading orders. I'm not sure why this is taking time. It should have happened quite quickly. Okay, so let us now again reverse back to the Euro USD. So here we have now if we 
change it to lower time frame on the five minutes the picture will be a lot more clearer all right now here you are, you can see that uh, euro usd is uh, on the lower price compared to what we had uh, gone on for the market price so we had uh, taken a long position at 1.06016 uh, with the net exposure of the 100000 euros and as it is now currently in loss you can see these uh, prior loss widening from uh, minus 2734.179 it has now increased to minus 2779 and minus stands for negative negative that is uh, it is in loss and if it is uh, in positive that will be profit so it's for just understanding purposes the use of negative positive signs is being done okay so depending on the outcome of this trade this uh, PNL outcome will be determined and it will keep changing as this uh, trade progresses now suppose if I go for a short sale trade so here let us now go for 50,000 short on euro all right Okay, so here you can see net exposure has now changed to 50,000 net long. It is uh, still in the long side. So we have this positive reading on the net exposure indicator. And uh, now it has become a bit uh, complex as the net exposure has reduced. Our uh, profit loss will change a bit uh, slower. There won't be sharp moves as the Net exposure has decreased and now if we sell more say 100,000 more then the net exposure will go down in the negative territory okay so here you can observe now the net exposure is minus 50,000 and uh, if this time around the euro usd continues to decline then we will see these uh, PNL changing its direction from on the lower side to upper side so let us increase the exposure and now that we are seeing this uh, euro usd in a short term decline and if it continues to decline then we will see we we might uh, be able to make some money so i am going to increase the exposure on the lower side just to give you example of how this plotting will change now here net exposure has gone up to minus 150,000 and uh, as the euro usd is not really moving on the lower side we don't really have any profit the net accumulated loss as of now is uh, i think close to 30 dollars so if the decline is there only in that scenario this chart this graph will change from lower side to higher side and it might take some time or it might not even happen we can't really be sure so that's how these uh, things work and you can observe this okay here we have you can uh, take the Take one more look here we have position summary and uh, the long is 100,000 the short is 250,000 so we got the net exposure of 150,000 euros and it is in USD so this is different all right and uh, depending on how this outcome goes we will see the profit loss being reflected now the loss is widening as we have net exposure on the lower side and the price is starting to rise so because of that 
it is not changing the direction from lower to higher instead it is going deeper in the territory so that's how these uh, indicators the account statistic indicators will help you out while figuring out whether you are uh, making money or you are losing money in real time so you can just keep a track of these uh, your trades on the chart itself you don't really have to change the page and go back to this uh, order summary page so instead of that you can keep a watch on your net exposure and profit loss from this page itself so that's the advantage of these two indicators so that's it from my side for today's session i have tried to explain these account statistic indicator in subsequent session i will be taking up uh, bill williams indicator i think these are the next indicators in line so we will consider these uh, all these six indicators one by one as we progress in this series okay guys so i hope you have been able to understand whatever i have explained to you and if not you can of course raise the query and i would try my best to explain it further for further developments of the market you can check out the Decoscopy Analytics page for which the link has been provided. We are also available on the Facebook and the JForex platform link is also there in the bio. Thank you all for joining in. See you next time around. Till then, goodbye.